most reckless person in the ring who would just, you know, lay it in potatoes. Sam in. Yeah, okay. Sam in. <laughs> as far as reckless goes, yeah. yeah. But 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 when I work him in WCW, easy and light as a feather. I said, you gotta be fucking kidding me. That's a that what he goes, uh, it's a different place, kid. I go, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Did he not drink to the before the matches in WCW then? Nope. Really? I don't think they would have let him. Probably. Or if he was doing it, it was nowhere near in the excess it was in ECW. <laughs> uh, someone wrote on a previous page that I can't find anymore. Um, I, I think they may have given the date of like October 1995 and Sandman had dropped a guardrail on you and he wanted this person wanted to know if you remembered that. Um, not specifically. He dropped fucking everything on me. Let's be honest. I'm like, he, he, he. I remember he. There was one point where he picked up a guardrail and he like mushed me against the ring with a guardrail. And then I was I was so pissed I just took it and I it was still connected, I think. And I took it. I just fucking swung it back at him. I said, "Fuck, Jesus!" <laughs> but yeah, I remember him squishing me against the ring with a guardrail. I remember that fucking hurt like hell with ecw did he um throughout the years did he progressively drink more before the matches as the years rolled on uh, i think at one well at one point you hit critical mass <laughs> you know <laughs> but i think uh i think it's pretty much it, it it maintained it was pretty much yeah he brought in his big blue cooler with beer and vodka and you cut kind of orange juice so you even keel. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it got better, it got worse. It just kind of just was, it was what it was. 